All right, we are here for the fifth, sixth, sixth recording sixth. Mm-hmm. of The Ocean Has Her Reasons, uh, coming from our friend's garage. We, weird hurricane things are going on, so uh, strange times, but we have everything we need, so let's go ahead and do this. Three. Three, okay. <laughs> like, wait, wait a minute, here we go again. <laughs> oh yeah, we got rock throw last time. And I think we equipped yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we equipped it. I can see why this territory was so crucial to you. The hot springs here are amazing. That fight nearly killed us all, but my friends and I are practically at full power already. What a shame. I think you might survive if we just let you into the water. Dang. (laughs) There's no way you should have stopped us. I had to train for years to prove myself worthy of this power. How was I brought down by three ordinary fighters? I'm a disgrace. Wow. He said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. I sure as hell can't disagree with you there. That said, I have to know. How is it that you have these powers? You produced a deadly venom from your own sweat and blood. It's all on a need-to-know basis. But I'll tell you what I know since there's no way you can take it away from me. When I proved myself worthy, I was given a channel. I ingested the channel into myself as I was instructed. And now these powers are a part of me. Did you ever meet a woman who possessed powers like yours? Well, guess not like yours, since she was infinitely stronger. Shorter than any of us, with short dark hair. Gorgeous, but dangerous. I can't say for sure, since I've met more than one. We as men can only serve as channelers, but a channel can give women something far greater. If they are compatible with a channel, then it bestows upon them an unimaginable power. The power of an incantatrix. What can you tell us about these women? What does it mean to be an incantatrix? As I said before, I'm on a need-to-know basis. I already told you all that I know. So with that, can you let me through? Only the springs can heal these wounds. Not so fast. I need to know where the captives were taken. Otherwise, I'll kill you right here and now. sure if anyone else was taken, but we were only asked to retrieve two people from the Brimstone Isles. Norman and Sadie. I think the music's kind of loud. <laughs> Probably nobody heard the first ten minutes of this. No. Whatever. They can read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Norman and Sadie Shawcross, and no one else here matters. So you know what? I'll tell you. Even if you go to her, you'll be walking right into our trap. Just leave me to worry about that. Where do they have her? She's practically at the volcano itself, perhaps just a bit south. You can try to find her, but you don't have a chance. Some of our strongest people are there to make sure Abraham succeeds. Thank you. If you know what's good for you, you won't come after us. Well, kind of abrupt, but there you go. (laughs) I want to go. I love volcanoes. Can't help but feel like all that fighting was for nothing. We probably could have guessed they had her in the volcano. At the volcano. Then again, that raises a kind of obvious implication. Yeah. Either they want the volcano to kill her, or in some twisted way, they need her there to make it erupt in the first place. I can't imagine it's that. How could one woman have the power to unleash a force of nature? You heard what that poison channeler said. Only a woman can become an incantatrix. And if their power is anything like that of Hazoya's breathless scourge, then there's no doubt in my mind. Are you telling me that they mean to make a monster out of the woman that I love? I think that, to some extent, this world has a way to make monsters out of us all. It's not a matter of embrasure or forfeiture. It only has to do with the extent to which we allow ourselves to be corrupted. The reality is that I let myself fall. We don't have to let it happen to her. I may not have much power at all, but with what little I have, I can stop others from falling in the same way as me. And I'll do my best to help, but I can't deny that this still seems so strange. Why are they doing any of this? They're garnering soldiers and conceiving war, but to what end? And where does the volcano come into play? 
I don't think anyone knows what they really want in the end. Even destruction itself has to serve some purpose. Abraham went through too much trouble to simply set the world ablaze. Oh shit. You remember her? You know? Yeah. Who are you supposed to be? Are you with the Seismic Flux Syndicate? Do you want to be her? Sure. All right. Yes, I do suppose I am. I am Kiana Calypso, and I am an incantatrix of poison. I was sent here by the Seismic Flux Syndicate to protect an operation I don't entirely understand. Not that it matters one way or the other, but I suspect they mean to make another monster with strength like mine. I can't help but notice that you're not exactly jumping at the chance. I'm sure you know who we are. We attacked your comrades all across this archipelago, and we have no plans to stop. I may be reluctant, but it makes no difference. I still have a job to do. You intend to stop the eruption, so I have to stop you. There's nothing more to it. Norman already took off. All we have to do is occupy her here. It's all up to him now. Is it really worth wasting your life and your conscience on a job someone gave you? My life? My conscience? I already wasted my life and my conscience a long time ago. It's far too late to turn back now. Oh, crap. All right. <laughs> you want it? Is this a win one or is this a lose one? Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You, you find if after you get your ass kicked, if it goes on to 471 to 472, then it's like, okay, all right. I was supposed to lose that one. <laughs> Hold it we'll on. find out. I'm going to start with Holden. I can't imagine we're going to win, though. <laughs> you, you saw that health 35? Yes. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm going to move up here. All right. We're going to do nothing. God damn, she's fast. She is fast. Oh, holy shit. With a sword made of poison. Can I dodge that? I think so. I don't see why not. A dagger and a shield. Oh, God. Dodge. Uh, oh, she's stabbing. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah, maybe if you can just keep her at a distance. An incantatrix of poison. Yes. She can heal herself. That's what that means. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Attempts to protect herself with her shield. She guarded. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that's not bad. We'll probably have to speak up now that the AC is on. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, she's oh, already she healed. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I would not get close to her. Venom scatter shot. All right. Okay. Well, I died. <laughs> oh. Okay. Seven Wait, damage. and you have Annalena, so you can fair fight her because you're knocked down now. Yay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold up. Oh, you're dead. You're uh, dead. That's it. You're slash. Dead. Wait. Do I? Ooh. If you could scare her off with wide swing, I I don't know I don't know, like, I feel like she'll have another stab ready to go if you try to block it. Yeah, let's wide swing that. <laughs> I gave you bad advice and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> A cloak of deadly poison. I don't think we're supposed to win this one. Look. Holden Noriega did less than 5 damage to her, and she's got 30 health left. Well, we're, we're gonna beat her with an archer. <laughs> the incantatrix of poison. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I think Annalena's got this. You got a golden arrow I don't know about? <laughs> like exploding arrows from the Hunger Games? <laughs> you gotta bring that out. A poison bullet, okay. Oh, you see that? I see duck, I do. I see duck. But what if there's another move I can duck under? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you got to take your chance with that. Yeah, I'll duck. It worked. Yay. Scare away, maybe? First, unleash a paralytic poison. Jesus. I don't think our attack's going to go through. It, it did not. It did not. You got to get out of there, man. <laughs> oh, it worked. Yay. It worked. I mean, that paralytic poison didn't even do anything. Jump back and shoot. I think it just stopped you from doing anything, that's all. Oh. I did damage, though. Yeah. Yeah, you're knocked down now, but 
I think you'll survive this turn unless she has she healed. can she jolt closer? Did she already jolt closer? Uh no. Oh crap, we're <laughs> dead. This is it. She one turn killed both of our fighters. <laughs> oh my god. Ethereal blades of purple poison? What is that? I, I think I think it kills you is what it does. <laughs> oh we lived. We lived. Oh my god. Swift slash. Okay. Yeah, this is where I die. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> That was brutal. I did go to 472. Okay, we were supposed to lose. <laughs> we should probably heal up, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're going to be like, your whole team's dead. You suck at this. <laughs> Full heal? Yeah. All right. That could have been worse. Like, at least we were supposed to lose. Yeah. Hey, Mike. What? You're part of us. <laughs> uh, we, we, we have a third person joining us today, but he, he's shy, he doesn't want to read the parts, so. Anyways, what the hell was that? I swear we just got blindsided. Uh, not that I'm complaining, but why did you stop? Mike, for reference, she just kicked our ass. <laughs> it, it was a one-hit kill in both, not one hit, but one turn kill in both, uh, both fighters. Yep. She, she, she destroyed us. You are no incantatrix, so surely you can't feel it. But there was a transference of energy. Nothing will ever be the same again. Oh, that's Shit. a transference of energy. <laughs> okay. And the scene just ends there. <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, yeah. Sadie? What the hell happened here? Why aren't you running away? Did Holden just die? Norman, you have to leave, and you have to leave now. The first eruption was my best attempt to suppress it, but it's not over. This whole island will fall. Is she fire or magma? <laughs> Dang, he's fast. <laughs> magma. Magma, okay. Yep. All the more reason to get the hell out of here. Come on, this place looks like an altar of some savage ritual anyway. Good riddance. Let's leave it all behind. Sorry I can't go with you, my love, but I have to stay here. I learned from Abraham. I learned from their leader that I was stolen for a reason. That doesn't make any sense. If you somehow know there will be another eruption, then how could you choose to stay? We can run away together, somewhere that they'll never find us. It'll be the same as it was before. We can run away to an island far away where we can let time itself pass us by. We can leave it all behind and live the life we were meant to live. That's all I want at the end of all things. A life alone with you and away from everyone. But for the sake of this world and everyone in it, I have to stay and fight. Why do you have to stay? You don't owe these people anything. Abraham ordered my retrieval because I am compatible with the Tynarius which lived in the magma, far beneath this volcano. Heartless as they are, the Seismic Flux Syndicate forced upon me its power. This island is damned to end in fire. But at the very least, I can use this power to protect the other islands. I've seen firsthand that these people have a merciless power, and now I have it for myself. It is the power of the Incantatrix. It is the weapon stolen from a Tynarius itself and forced into me. But why would you accept this power? At the risk of sounding heartless, we never cared much for the strangers in this world. Our only friends died when the Syndicate attacked our home. Trust me, my love, I know. Any other day, and I would have let the world burn away just to hold your hand in the ashes. But when we watched them kill our friends, I guess I remembered how fragile we all are. Our love is a blazing, blazing testament to our harrowing survival, but I can't just let everyone in these islands die a fiery death. Not when I have the power to save them. But if you fight the eruption instead of running, then you'll just die in their place. How can I accept something like that? because I'm still determined to force our future upon reality, whether or not this world will accept it. I'm willing to throw away this power if it gives me the strength to suppress the volcano just enough to save myself. But I can't do that with a spirit divided, so you have to leave right now. I can't possibly protect us both. Then that's what I'll do. I'll leave for now, but I won't let you go. 
You are my whole heart and soul. I just need you to know you'll still have a hand to hold when this world explodes. It's kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking love volcanoes. They're really pretty. Yeah. I didn't notice. Oh, what's up? You changed the, um... The, the scene? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I did. <laughs> I did change. I didn't like the last one. Gotcha. So. As bad as that was, we got off lucky. When this volcano erupts with its true fury, there's no running away. We have to leave while we still can. Kinda thought that eruption was already pretty bad. How are you so sure that the worst is yet to come? I know this archipelago. Brimstone 4 doesn't just have a volcano, it is a volcano. We witnessed a single burst, but there's so much more to go. That's why we have to leave. What about Norman? There are still people left to save. The people who live here already know that this island is damned. They're running full force to the ocean as we speak, just as we must do. We just have to trust that Norman did the same. You know what's the damnedest thing? The part of me that wants to stay still wants me to close in on the Seismic Fuck Syndicate. The sky just exploded, and I still want to hunt down the ones I sought out when all this began even though we just saw a taste of their true power. Hmm. I don't think they'll be hard to find. If they have the power to guide a force of nature, then they're everywhere. You'll get your question answered, and I'll get my revenge. We'll work together and tear them down. <laughs> I can't believe that that's actually reassuring. We just got our asses half kicked by an incantatrix of poison. The people in league with her have countless islands under their control, and in a sick way, I'm happy. I guess because it's easy to hit such a large target. Honestly, that makes sense. Yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. Maybe so, but the point still stands. We have to leave, and I think I know how. I think I do too. That ship, is it her? Did Augustana really risk her life to come back for us? Of course she did, it's Augustana. <laughs> She's an angel. A drunken pirate angel. <laughs> and we love her anyway. Yes, we do. That's a pretty picture. Yeah, I like that one a lot. We've been sailing since sunset. Are you sure we can safely get away from the volcano? I think I botched botch that. Whatever, I'm moving on. <laughs> You're so impatient. We're already on the other side of the island. Besides, the wind is against us. I'll probably be tech. Ta Tacking. Oh, I'll probably be tacking all night. It's like a sailor term. Gotcha. Um, it doesn't matter what it means. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't mean to complain. We're so lucky you were there. I thought you would have sailed away as soon as you saw the eruption. I probably should have left, but instead I sailed right back to the island. There's nothing like an explosion to drive up the, co the cost of escape. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I'll require a heightened charge. 15 gold coins per person? It's just good business. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more than fair. We would have been stuck swimming if it weren't for you. Really can't thank you enough for this. I just wish we had some clue for where to go next. It's quite alright. But one thing at a time. What happened to your friend Norman? You looked pretty beat up when I found you. Did he not make it? We, uh, can't say for sure. We got hurt fighting off an incantatrix, holding her off so Norman could look for his wife. Don't know if he found her, but that looked to be where the eruption happened. We waited by the water for a while, but we don't have a way to find each other. If he didn't find her, then I know he's still out there. He's goal-oriented, to say the least. Norman would swim through the lava itself if Sadie were there on the other side. Either he found what he wanted, or he's still out there somewhere. Besides, I'm pretty sure our paths will have to cross again. If they still have her, he's still hunt he'll still hunt them. Just the same as us. We'll meet up again when the time is right. You know, you two are pretty hopeful for people who were covered in blood when I found them. It's none of my business. But this is still a bit jarring to me. Alden was just a friendly fisherman before all of this began. Even when he told me tiny fragments of his past, I didn't really believe it. Or at least, I couldn't actually imagine it. Alden, 
I know it's not my place to say it, but it's hard to see you as a weapon of war. I think I've wondered the same. I was there for that war. I saw its brutality with my own eyes. What is it that causes a good man to become so merciless? I guess you're looking at it all wrong. I wasn't a good man or a bad man or any of that. I was just a guy who had a kid when I was young. I didn't care about anything else, really. My heart. Right? I remember feeling so scared when I found out she was pregnant. I was too young to handle it, and she outright refused to partake in our child's life. I had no idea how I would care for myself, let alone for a baby girl. Or at least, that was true until she was born. Everything changed in the instant I saw her. I was the only one she had in her life, and she was the only thing I had in mine. The only thing that kept me going. At the time, I guess, it felt like everything I had and all that I did was for her. So when the Civil War started, me and my daughter left for a house by the sea, just far enough from the city to be safe. It was hard to stay isolated. All anyone wanted to talk about. Everyone was taking sides, but I never cared much for politics. I just wanted to make sure my kid had enough food to eat. All I wanted was to keep her safe from the war. I didn't care about the war, I only cared about her. So when soldiers burned down my home with her in it, I lost the only thing that meant anything at all to me. The heat from the flames woke me up when it was too late. I charged through the flames with her body in my arms. I pounded on her chest outside the ashes and screamed for God to spare her, but the smoke had already taken her away. I had nothing left to lose. So I wasn't motivated by ideals or politics when I joined the rebels. It was nothing more than a hate-fueled rampage against those who had taken my daughter away. I didn't even care that the rebels were just as bad. It was all to kill those who had killed her. Sorry for telling you all this out of nowhere. I know it doesn't justify what I did, and that's not what I want anyway. I just want you to understand what it was that made me the man I used to be. I never thought about it, mm -hmm. but it's kind of scary that in his hate-fueled rampage, he's a tactical genius. That's terrifying. It, it is because most people, like, they get angry, they get filled with hate, and their brain goes out the window. But it like awakened something in him right yeah it's just i'm thinking about it now i'm like he's like he's known for his brutality mm -hmm. and for being strategic someone who's able to do that when they are so hate fueled it's like holy shit the scariest kind of person yeah yeah agreed agreed <laughs> he's he's special <laughs> i'm so sorry, Holden. Hasoya had such an ugly war, and so many lives were upended by the monsters behind it. Between the Marauder, the Breathless Scourge, the Seismic Fuck Syndicate, any decent man didn't have a chance. I don't blame you for making that decision. I just wish you didn't have to be alone when you made it. What's done is done. Those men I killed in that pointless war, nothing will ever bring them back from the dead. All I can do now is use what's left of my life to atone for the blood that now stains my soul. Oh, that's the end of this archipelago. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we should probably stop there. Okay. We'll uh, sail the world next time. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed the end of this one. It's a short archipelago, much shorter than the others, but it was the first one. Got the story rolling. So, we hope you enjoyed.